Hi guys, it's Coach Sona Morgan and today's video is on a British Gas 330 Plus. So I've been called out to this system and the customer says that they're getting no hot water. So you can see it's a fully pump system. It's a wire plan. There you can see the pump and there's the um, controls. What they've got, they've got a wireless um, room thermostat and cylinder stat on this system, so it's going to be quite a challenge to find out what's going on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have to look inside this wiring centre as well and just look at the wires coming from this mid position valve and just see what's happening inside here. So we'll turn the switch off here and have a look. Right, before we get involved looking in this inside here, just a quick test on your knowledge on the different systems on Y plan and S plan. So on the cylinder stat inside the, this Y plan, how many wires we got? Um, three wires on the Y plan. Okay, and, and can you remember on the S plan? Yeah, two on the S plan. Right, okay. Good. So you know something from your training, you remembered it. That's yeah. good. Now, let's just go over some more basic training, what we did. We've got mid-position valves we know. So, the controlling wires on the mid-position valve is well, you've got the orange, which is the output to put the pump and boiler. Mm -hmm. You've got the white here, which is, you the remember? Command wire. For what? Zone valve. No, for the heating. Or for the heating. Yeah. And then you've got the grey. Remember the grey? Yeah. So, that is for... Can you remember on that one? That's for hot water. Off. Off, off. Yeah, so when the hot water's off, that'll put it into heating only on the oh, mid-position okay. valve. And the white one will put it into mid-position valve. Mm -hmm. So that's coming from the room stat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so guys, if you want to learn more about these type of systems, I do a online Honeywell and Y plan course so you can learn more about this so going forward so that's as I said the area of main concern wires so just get that kind of familiarization that standard stuff right so we're just going to go back to what I taught you in the classroom about your basics of this wiring so we've identified the cylinder stat wire there which is good for us that this has been labeled so it makes it a bit easier so what we now know is that on the cylinder stat you've got one, you've got common, mm -hmm. and then you've got one. So when it switches to one, it goes to the same terminal as the orange, mm -hmm. which is there. Yeah. So that there is on one on the cylinder stat, the output yeah. goes to that. So when it's on Basically, if the heating's off, that orange will be cut because that's coming from the mid-position valve yeah. and heating. So on hot water only, this wire will be energised to bring on the pump and boiler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's my standard training. Mm -hmm. So, if the customer's saying they're not getting hot water, what we need to know, are we going to end up getting power here? So go across there in neutral. Yeah to see what's going on. So that's what we can start from. So we figured this out with our training, what mm. we've done, understanding that sequence, what we went through, remember? Yep, yep. So it's helped us narrow it down quite quick, where to look in this basic jungle of wires. Mm -hmm. Now, so we've got our multimeter across these connections here, which is, as I said before, the output on one on this on the stat, and we've got, just put your, your folio on there, Mark. Yeah, that's it. So we've got the voltage now. So we're getting power. And obviously the boiler's fired, so we know it's working because we've got a flame. So we're getting hot water demand there right now. You can see that this position valve that's shown on water, hot water. Pump's running. The burner's gone off at the moment. 
we'll just check if we're getting the voltage again still. I'll try that again. So we're still getting the power. Okay. Now just to go over this again, you can see that the alarm light's on and this is from the cylinder thermostat. But because the on light's not on, really we shouldn't get no power sent down to that connection what we've done on the wiring wiring sensor. So we're gonna have a look at the cylinder stat and see what's going on upstairs. But just interestingly, it just clicked so you can see the on light is now on here. So that just came on seconds after I said it was off. So what we've done now, we're retesting it. Now the green light's come on. We're on there, but we're not getting the power here. So, because the green lights came on, it's actually working backwards for some reason. And when it was off, it was on. So we're going back up to, well, I've not been there yet, going to the cylinder start to see what's going on there. So a bit more information, the pump has now stopped. It's gone quiet. So there's definitely no demand. So just to recap on our training, we now know that one on the cylinder start should be sending power out to that connection, which is on the, that black, which is on the orange, because the cylinder start should be on because that on light is on. So that's our standard training. And this is without doing minimal testing as you just seen but it's understanding the core principles of how a Honeywell wire plan works and you can learn this real fast by taking up my training so we're upstairs now in the airing cupboard and this is the thermostat it's showing that it's calling you can see a flame symbol so it should be calling that so let me turn it down. I'm just going to pop down the stairs and check on that receiver, see if it's gone off. No, so you can see that it's gone off. So them two are, are connecting. So the next problem I think, if that's wirelessly connecting, is that then making the connection between that and the boiler? So you can do that by linking the wires out. So I'm going to take this off, turn the power off, and then I'll show what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to remove the screws underneath and then that just comes off that back plate. So what we're going to do now, we're going to just take that wire, put it on that one, basically just join them together um. and then see how it behaves like that and see if it gets constant power to the boiler. So we're just disconnecting them now. So we're now going to turn the power on. So we'll link these together now. So that means it's bypassed that thermostat upstairs. So it's just a direct feed from the boiler, or to the boiler, I should say. So this is on, and we can just we can tell here if we've got power to the boiler. So the boiler just fired. So you can see that it's fired. You can hear it ramp up on the fan speed. So that's going full belt now. And that's in hot water and that's the dog so this is the pipe going out to the cylinder it's getting hot so we'll just monitor that and see what happens to make it a bit more complicated for us the boiler has now gone off so we're checking power here so that's correct that's staying on where before that was going off so that is fine, but the bar has gone off. So, a bit more of a puzzle this one. I'm just checking the um, thermostat setting. So that's at 50, that's no good. Let's make that higher. That should be about 75 at. So that could give a bit of, um, well, a bit more ammunition for our problem. Let's see if it fires up now. Not fired up yet. So it just fired up now. 
because what probably happened because it was all set at 50 we got to temperature and that's mm. why this wasn't very warm because the primary temperature was only at 50 so let's feel that if that's getting any warmer yeah it's getting warm now oh yeah it's getting a lot hotter that now so we'll see what temperature it goes up to as well right so that's going to be the end of the video on this diagnostic so if you like what you've seen just give us a comment and they've got a little comment well little thing from a customer he wants to say about my fault binding skills what we've done um mr customer just say something for us you need on a problem like this someone who has a structured knowledge of fault finding knows how to work to the root of the problem and isolate many other factors the lads have done a grand job thank you all right so there you, you heard it from nelson's mouth so if you want to acquire these skills just click on the link below and then you can find out more so that's it from me and i'll see you in the next video bye for now